Now, that was truly a, a rare occurrence on a once-in-a-lifetime day, Rosa Parks' 100th birthday, to hear a Stradivarius violin in the hands of such an adept player is truly a memory I hope that you take away from today. But that's not the end. As I've said before, we've celebrated much of today with music, and we just heard a very unique kind of music, and now we're gonna hear another kind of music. Coming up next is Robert and Bernice Jones. Robert Jones is Detroit's most complete blues man. He sings, plays guitar, slide, har slide guitar, harmonica, mandolin, fiddle, quills, and banjo. Robert Jones also hosted WDET-FM's 101.9's award-winning Blues from the Lowlands for more than 15 years, and is a respected blues historian, blues scholar, and teacher. And he is also an ordained Baptist minister. We are thrilled now to present Robert Jones and his wife Bernice in a very special performance. Once again, Robert and Bernice Jones. Thank you very much. It's always an honor to be asked to perform and to present at the legendary Ford, Henry Ford Museum. And uh, of course, my dream has always been to have to follow Garrett Johnson with an <laughs> instrument. That's, you know, every musician dreams of that, you know. But we'll do the best we can. This is my wife's sister, Bernice Jones. And uh, we've been married for 26 years. But we've, yeah, that's, that's worth, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yes. But what, what we found out is that in those years, a lot of times we didn't necessarily share the same musical taste. I played blues for a long time. But then uh, Bernice was not a blues woman by any stretch of the imagination. She sang gospel. And then when I was called to, to pastor a church, we discovered that the music had to change. Those songs like, I don't want no skinny woman. Give me a gal, got lots of me. Cause when I get to hugging my woman, sure don't want to have to stop to eat. Those songs did not work. Not at all. In the church. So I just started to go back and find that there were so many blues men who had started off singing spirituals, or for that matter, uh, spiritual singers who had started off singing blues. And we discovered this vast repertoire of music. But not only that, we also have been impressed by the fact that this music has history. It comes from history, it tells a historical story, and it's also fun. So we start off with a song by the great Reverend Gary Davis, a blind street singer who was born in South Carolina but made his living in New York. And he used to do a song called, I Heard the Angels Singing. And uh, if you want to, you can join us. We wish you would. Yeah. It's a song called, I Heard the Angels Singing. One day when I was walking along, Lord, I heard the angels singing. I looked around and I saw no one, yeah. I heard the angels singing. What 
Thank you. It's interesting to follow a man who has been so prominent in the promotion of classical music, uh, especially in minority communities. Because one of the things we've discovered is not only is classical music endangered, so is folk music. So is the idea of the music that people used to pick up an instrument and make, or in fact, the, the music that's carried on in churches.